Hey, hey, what's good everybody? Back again. So, today's video is called The Farmer's Almanac. Subtitle is Inverting the Power Pyramid. So let's talk about The Farmer's Almanac. I did some research into this. Like, I'm a big student of astronomy, astrology, and astrotheology, which is 5,000 year old tradition around the world of understanding the cycles of time, the motion of the stars and planets, and how that can be used as a way to order our life on Earth, to understand our psyche, to understand science and mathematics, and to navigate and to survey land, and to uh, do all kinds of amazing things. And so one instance of this is what's called the Farmer's Almanac. So I looked up Wikipedia, and I looked up, there's a couple versions, right? There's one that's called the Farmer's Almanac, and there's one that's called the Old Farmer's Almanac. But basically, um, the oldest continuous periodical publication in the United States is an almanac. And it goes back to the, the 1800s. But actually, the second printed book that was printed on U.S. soil was also an almanac. So that's pretty interesting. What's up with that, you know? If, if astrology is just some new age woo-woo bullshit, how come people for thousands of years and throughout the existence of our nation have considered this a valuable asset? And in particular for farming and working with crops and for long-range weather forecasting. This is one of the most interesting fields to me. It's called astrometeorology. And it's very, very profitable. It's so profitable and so powerful, like I was saying last time, knowledge is power. So those who are very powerful want to hoard knowledge for themselves. So they use it, but yet they ridicule it so that no one else will look into it. But now with all our computers and things like that, astrometeorology can give extremely precise, long-range weather forecasts years in advance, predict predict droughts and blights and long winters and all kinds of things anyone seen, seen the movie trading places right you know there's big money in long-range weather forecasting the crop forecast all the exchange of those millions of dollars in that movie revolved around the crop forecast right so but i mean this is you can just look at this as a metaphor in terms of you know planning our lives how we plan for the future how we make intelligent predictions about the future and we organize our lives and we take action in the present tense to build and to prepare and to accumulate a positive energy and wealth and health for the future. Now, the reason I chose this topic, this, this actually was intended to be my second video because I thought this was an introduction that gets into all kinds of the topics that I wanted to discuss. And primarily, you know, it deals with intelligence and self-reliance, kind of a combination of those two things. Now, if you look back to the foundation of this country, right? Right now we're experiencing the Pluto return. So the planet Pluto is returning back to the position that it was in when this, the Declaration of Independence was signed, right? So Pluto is the planet of hidden secrets and all the dark side and all the shadow contents and death and destruction and decay. And I mean, hello, <laughs> look at our politics right now. We've got a, a pedophile president who's openly groping little kids on CNN, right? He's doing backdoor deals with China and Ukraine. This is all factual. This is not really up for dispute. Like, it could be censored. You could censor it and block it. But it's not up for dispute. It's factually documented, you know? This is the reality, you know? The corruption in our government is out of control. And I, I think it, things are going to get better, but it's, it's like what we call a healing crisis, right? That's where you have a sickness and you start to treat it and it gets worse right before it gets better So you're, you're drawing out the sickness and that's kind of what's happening in our society right now And I could go all into that, but I'm not going to but let's just suffice it to say we're going through a major Critical period in our nation's history right now that affects our economics because Pluto right plutocrats is the rule of the wealthy, right? Pluto is the god of wealth and in fact the word Pluto relates to the word for wealth in Greek so, yeah, plutocrats is not good because when plutocrats run everything, they keep the secrets of wealth from the masses and they enslave the masses and they draw wealth from the labor 
and mental effort and intelligence of the masses and all their energy and their sexual energy and so on. They use that to make billions of dollars and to enslave everyone. And that's not good. So we need to master this plutonic energy and use it for its proper purpose, which is the purgation of toxicity, the elimination of waste, right? Investigation of dark, secret, hidden material and exposing it out to the light. And that's a huge part of what I'm doing here with this channel. But let's talk about the Farmer's Almanac and how that relates. Well, so the Farmer's Almanac relies on mainly astrology, lunar cycles, and planetary cycles for long range weather forecasting and for, you know, planting one's crops at the most optimum time to produce greater yields, a more robust, you know, crop and so on that's less vulnerable to blights and disease and less fragile and so on. So basically, if you look back at the Declaration of Independence and all the so-called founding fathers, like these guys were all occultists. They studied astronomy and astrology and the same mathematics that's involved with astronomy and astrology is involved in land surveying. And as many people know, you know, uh, George Washington and uh, Thomas Jefferson were both surveyors, right? Thomas Jefferson was an architect as well. And he used the same principles to survey and plan out cities and his famous university that he designed and all the buildings that he designed, you know, was, was based on this mathematical knowledge, right? And so we see this example of self-reliance. Like when the colonists got here, this was an you know, comparatively to where they came from, right? This was a uncharted wasteland, you know, with, with you know, tribes of warriors, like, that were, some of them were hostile, some of them were friendly, you know, but let's suffice it to say it was not as tame of an environment as what they were used to. But they came here and they used intelligence, they used their knowledge of agriculture and astronomy and the farmer's almanac and their geometry that they used to survey the land and to map it out and to chart the uncharted lands so that, you know, they could carry on exploration and so on. They needed all these high-level intellectual skills, which are now completely scorned and ridiculed in our world, right? How many surveyors do you know? And, you know, now they have lasers and they have all these high-tech equipment and they got GPS and global geo positioning systems and they got all that you know so it's high tech now but back in the day it was like you know you had an astrolabe and you had a sextant and you had a plumb line you know and you had these chains they used to measure distances so it required a lot more up here you had to manually do all the calculations and use logarithmic tables and all that kind of stuff so these are the virtues that established what many would argue has been one of the most powerful empires and nations in the world was built by these guys. And it's falling apart now because no one's practicing the skills that they, that made this country great to begin with. You know, I'm one of these MAGA people, you know, for me, it's not about politics and political parties. MAGA is magic, right? It's using our illusions, using our mental capacity and our imagination to sculpt reality and to accurately image the reality around us internally so that we can gain understanding and make Vi uh, viable predictions about the future and strategize and so on so these are the kind of virtues that I think would would make our world so much better if we had a wide supply of highly talented highly intelligent individuals who can do all these activities who can do high math and who can do botany and who can do you know herbal medicine None of what we have now would ever be here without a mass of people that knew all these skills and that built this country that we're living in. It's not perfect. There's a lot, a lot of corruption and, you know, it's, it's kind of in a way, it's a dark mirror image, like it's a dark opposite of what it has purported to be throughout all these years because we've allowed corruption to creep in. And generation by generation, all the skills that made our country and our, our people great have been decaying and declining. And you like I was saying yesterday or last time, it was like prosperity breeds monsters. You know, plenty and prosperity and a life of ease breeds monsters. And a life of striving and hardships and pushing one's limitations and pushing the boundaries and exploring the frontiers. That's what builds intelligence, self-reliance, strength, physical strength, faith in oneself and so on. And idealism, right? Through practical experience. So, 
these things exist, right? These types of skills exist, right? And we can all learn them. We all have some capacity to learn them. Some have different types of gifts than others, you know, but we all have the capacity to improve from wherever we're at, you know? And through gaining self-reliance, right? If someone comes to you and says, oh no, we got to shut the entire world economy down and blockade all our own ports, you know, <laughs> and uh, so on because of a germ, you know, you have the power to question that and you have the motivation to question that. And you're like, really? You want me to give up everything? Should I just, should I check into what you're saying and verify that it's accurate or not? Or should I just blindly become a, a slave and a toady and, you know, approval seeking like bootlicker, you know what I mean? And just worship authority because I would rather some people would rather, you know, worship authority than flex their own intellect and do their own due diligence and do the vetting process, right? If anyone would do the vetting process, like we wouldn't have any of these political candidates that we have now. Everyone would know that Hillary Clinton comes from a Chicago mob family, you know, <laughs> Radamski family, right? And that Bill Clinton's actually one of the Rockefellers and that he's a sadistic serial rapist. <laughs> like this is not, and that Joe Biden, you know, Joe Biden has been a toady of the Rockefellers and the communist Chinese for his entire career. Like that's not secret information. That's really not that difficult to come by that information. You know, there's photographic evidence. There's documentary evidence of every kind. There's all Joe Biden speeches from the 70s and 80s where he was talking about all his racism and stuff like that. But no one does any due diligence. No one does the vetting process because they don't believe in their own intellect. They don't value their own intellect. All the values of our society have been inverted and flipped into their opposites, right? We People now, youth especially, see vice as virtue, right? They see drug addiction and laziness and addiction to social media and a virtual reality. Like, that's virtuous to them, you know? They would rather be in a virtual reality, World of Warcraft or Fortnite or whatever it is. Like, they'd rather be strong and powerful in a fake reality than to be healthy and strong and go out in the sunshine in real reality. Like, they would rather sit and eat Hot Pockets in the basement <laughs> and play Fortnite, you know, than go outside and actually be like those characters, to be physically strong, to be a strategist and solve puzzles and problems in the real world and to have adventures and to get out and see the unknown, right? That's virtuous and that's good, but people don't like that. <laughs> they fear that, you know, they want to go take Uber everywhere. They don't want to have their own car. They want to ride a bicycle, right? They want to ride an electric scooter around, <laughs> You know, they don't want to be physically strong. They want to play a video game. So everything's flipped around. And uh, perversion and wickedness and, you know, lust and drug addiction. All the heroes of our society are drug addicts and sex perverts, right? And, you know, these wife-beating athletes or athletes that, that date rape chicks like Bill Cosby and Kobe Bryant. These are heroes to people, right? How is that? Everything's flipped. Right? Because everyone wants to place their value and their virtue external to themselves. They want to worship someone else. They don't want to develop the virtues of their so-called heroes. They just want to, you know, vicariously, you know, sit on the couch and eat potato chips and watch an athlete do athletic things and get fat and get really stupid and memorize all the statistics about everything and their favorite players you know, that they sit and homoerotically watch in tights, like watch them, watch them bend over on the field. Like, you know, this is terrible. This is psychological warfare and it's destroying our whole society. And instead of knowing what a virus is or what a germ is or how to build your immune system and how to fight off the common cold with plants and nutrition and physical vigor and activity, like everyone would rather know someone's batting average or, or you know, when Kanye is new, perverted single is going to drop you know or you know what kind of what kind of celebrities have secret sex tapes like kim kardashian like this is this is where what's filling the minds of the masses today you know whereas they could be learning like our like our ancestors right they could be learning to tame the vast wilderness externally and internally right they could learn like the farmer's almanac to do mathematics and trigonometry and long-range weather forecasting and land surveying and architecture and to create beautiful music and beautiful art that glorifies the human spirit instead of degrading it right 
So these topics exist, this knowledge exists, anyone can learn it, anyone can practice it. It's highly valuable. It would have prevented most of the dramas and traumas that we've been living through for the past two years because if we weren't a bunch of toadying, authoritarian, loving bootlickers, they would never get away with it.